Hey everyone, so today we have a topic that I've been meaning to discuss for a while. Something that I didn't consider that important, and something I probably shouldn't stick my nose in, but something that's kind of bothered me and a few others in the fandom. But to see what's going on, I should probably explain what this thing even is. So, if you've been in the Bluey community or even online in general for a while, you're probably familiar with commissions, which is when, you know, you pay somebody else to make a drawing for you, such as drawing your character or even a character in the show. And overall, these commissions are pretty popular in the fandom, as a lot of us aren't the best at drawing, and some of us like myself just don't have the time to always do it. So it really helps out, and of course, supports artists with talent as well. However, today, we're not going to be talking about these types of commissions, as there's a very particular type that's pretty popular with the fandom, but also kind of a rip-off and, dare I say, a complete scam in some cases. And these are the Custom Family Portraits. Now, if you've been in the Bluey community, you've definitely seen these before. But if you haven't, somehow, basically people will pay an artist to recreate a picture of their family, but as if they were all characters in the show. Which honestly, sounds like a really fun idea. Having your family not only in a certain art style, but one based on a show you really enjoy is an awesome concept. And admittedly, something I kinda wanna try myself, not gonna lie. And online? You can find tons of great examples, many of whom are from great artists who put genuine effort in their drawings. However, there appears to be quite a few people who are doing this type of work. And on sites such as Etsy, you can find plenty of results. Results that, more often than not, really differ in quality. Because a lot of them do seem to be a bit generic. But I'm not going to be some snob or character design critic about it. Because I know most of these are just for fun and most people aren't experts on this type of thing. Heck, I wouldn't even consider myself an expert. But with that said, there are a few out there that just aren't so great. Take this one simply titled, Bluey Style Character Commission on Etsy. Now with that title, you'd assume that you're getting an original character done in the Bluey style. And for the price of $13 I'm seeing, that seems like an incredible deal. And looking at the pictures provided, they do actually have some great ones that I think are pretty good, but also some that aren't. Take the very first picture the listing shows you. I mean, one of them is kinda original, even though it's literally a picture of Mackenzie with some yellow colors. And the others aren't even original characters, and not even recolors. They're literally just images of actual characters from the show. They didn't even modify them, or at least not to the point of being really noticeable. And regarding the other pictures, they do have this one that's a lot better. Although, the dad does bear quite the resemblance to Uncle Stripe. And that's one thing you'll see a lot with these Bluey portraits, where artists will just get existing images of characters online, slap a few colors on, and boom! Brand new, totally original character. And now, that's not to say you can't base your designs on existing characters, as I've done it myself, because I think it's necessary for recreating the Bluey style and helping you see what works and what doesn't. But to say the least, there's a big difference between being inspired by a character's design and adding stuff to make it your own, and spending a few minutes recoloring a Bluey vector taken directly from the wikia. Now up next, we also have this one, called Bluey Inspired Portrait, which costs around $20. And admittedly, some of them do look original, but most of them are pretty obviously just pictures of Bluey's friends with some very minor edits. Like, this is literally just Muffin and Socks with... hair? And this listing doesn't have any reviews either, so I'm not even sure how it actually is or not. 
However, they did have another listing for a full family portrait, and unlike the previous ones, these do seem to be drawn by them, although it's pretty obvious that they just trace these directly off of official images, which I personally think is kind of lazy, and not to mention that most of them are just near direct copies of families in the show. And with that said, I suppose you could argue that these were just meant to be examples of the type of stuff they could make, and they just used actual families in the show as examples. But they do have a picture of what I think are meant to be comments from customers, and they don't label them as just examples like most artists, so I'm not too sure about that one. And there's plenty of other examples I could cover, but to keep it kind of short, I recently found this site called BlueyMom.com, which I think is mainly a place that sells fan-made Bluey merch and stuff. I don't know if there's any issues regarding trademarks or copyright or anything like that, but I'm not a lawyer and that's the BBC's job, so I honestly don't care about that part. And I think some of the stuff they have is actually pretty cool. Like, I want this watermelon kiwi blanket so bad. Why they never made an official version of this is beyond me, but that's what fan-made merch is for. And interestingly, they do also sell custom character portraits, with an original price tag of 60 bucks. And if I'm being honest, I feel like most of them are okay for what they are, but for what you're paying, some of them do leave a lot to be desired. Similar to the others we've been seeing, a lot of these are just recolors of existing images. Although they did add stuff like facial hair or accessories to some of them, which I think makes it a bit more original. And I'm sorry, but some of these are just kind of lazy regardless. Such as this one, which has this actually cool character, and then literally Grandpa Bob, with a beard and a cap? Chili and small chili, basically just bingo, and what I assume is stock clip art of a dog, which now that I think about it is kind of weird considering that they're all dogs, but I guess it's more of a Goofy and Pluto kind of situation. In fact, now that I'm looking more, they really like using bingo a lot for some reason. Heck, this one even features two of them one of which has some kind of headband, and another that's literally just Bingo. They didn't even change this one. It's actually just a picture of Bingo, and that's it. That's it! And from here, I could probably find even more examples, but I think that's enough for now, as I'm sure y'all already get the point. And I know that some of the people involved are probably going to be a bit upset at me for calling this out. But with that said, I just wanted to let you all know about this, as I'm sure a lot of you are interested in doing something like this, or heck, already have before. And I just want to make sure y'all aren't getting ripped off over 20, 30, or even 50 bucks to pay for what are essentially bluey pictures taken from the internet and recolored in Photoshop. Or even worse, just a picture of bluey characters that aren't even edited at all, and just straight up stolen. However... I should clarify that I'm not completely against these types of art, as there are plenty of good artists out there who actually put effort in their work, and can create characters that actually look pretty good, or at least somewhat original. And yes I know, art commissions can often be a bit expensive at times, but in the end, you really want to make sure you get something special, and something you and your family can cherish. So if you have to pay 10 or 20 bucks more to get an original drawing and not stolen PNGs, then I would argue it's definitely worth it. But with that said, I'm curious to know if you've ever tried one of these before and how it turned out for you. So with that, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And until then, my name's Hideaki, and I hope to see you all soon. Bye everyone. <coughs> uh, I think I'm coming down with a cold. So for today's art of the day, we have this wonderful piece by user Brayden Schnauzer on Twitter. Of course, it features Hideaki in his best form, which is wearing a suit of course, and a set of pretty sharp teeth, which I assume is how he eats all of those tacos so fast. But jokes aside, I thought this drawing was amazing, so thank you very much.